Good morning, Mount Baker. It's Miss Amber. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody had a good night's sleep and they're staying dry and they're ready for the day. You guys are doing so awesome. I think that uh, we're all working really hard and everybody's starting to get into the groove of what's expected. I know that I have been so impressed with how many people are showing up every single day. If you need help, guess what? We are all here to help you. Go ahead and send an email out to your teacher or to any of the para-eds that you know around the school and just ask. Have a good day. Good morning, Mount Baker. I hope things are going well for you at the start of the school year and you're doing your job and getting after it like I know you will. Uh, this is just a friendly reminder that if you are planning on doing any kind of athletic activity during the school year, please fill out your forms on final forms. Go to the Mount Baker School District website, <clears throat> find the final form um, link, and then have you and your parents sign and fill out your information. Uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to start doing some practices here shortly. So we need you to get on that and fill out your information. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Have a great day, talk to you later. Hey folks, how's it going? Mr. Man here with This Day in History. I've got a good one for you today. September 24th, 1952, a very astute businessman by the name of Colonel Saunders opened the first KFC, and that business has been finger-looking good ever since. Have a great day. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Cooking with Paul, I think. I think that's the name of it. It might be Food with Paul. It might be something else. You can do whatever you want. Um, today we're cooking another snack. Um, I just decided what it was going to be like five minutes ago. It's super awesome and good and one of my, actually Emily's favorite snacks. Um, she loves it and she, yeah, so let's get to it. The first thing that you need is a banana. Um, it has to be yellow not brown, preferably. Um, maybe you, if you like green bananas, you can do those, but I don't recommend it. So yeah, one banana, maybe two. And the next thing is one of my favorite things, peanut butter. Um, yeah, peanut butter is good for you, so. That's the next thing, and you will also need a knife. And maybe a butter knife. You should also get a plate to put this stuff on. Um, so the first thing is uh, you peel the banana. The proper way to peel it is to grab it by the stem and just go like that. Okay, there you go. This piece broke so you can just eat it. Then what you're gonna do is chop it up or slice it up to nice little pieces. I like to cut the banana pieces on a diagonal so each piece is, becomes a little bit bigger. Okay, and then grab the peanut butter and butter knife. And you grab a little bit of peanut butter, put it on this bad boy, and then Make a little sandwich like that. It becomes like a little peanut butter banana sandwich. And you grab your plate and put it on. If you get small pieces like this, you don't have to make them into a sandwich. You can make them into like a taco, kind of like that. 
It might not be called a taco. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. It's food. Um, last piece. There you go. Right, so now I have a, ooh. So now I have a plate full of peanut butter bananas and I'm about to try one. Mmm, oh yeah, it does the trick. Mmm. The craziest thing is like, the smaller the pieces are, the better they taste. All right. Thanks for watching this and get some bananas and get some peanut butter and make these all day.